What's up guys, it's Noah here and welcome back to my channel. Before this video starts, we're going to be announcing the two winners of my 20,000 subscriber giveaway. Before that though, I want to thank everybody that entered the contest, everybody that's subscribed, that's liked, that shared the videos, everything. I really, really appreciate it. It's helped my channel grow so, so much and it's really humbling to see how many people enjoy the series and how it's been getting them through COVID-19 and stuff like that. That's just nuts to me. Um, so truly, I really, really appreciate all of your guys' support, and this is just my little way of being able to give something back to you guys. So without further ado, let us choose the two winners. So I obviously got the list of comments, and I got my girlfriend to randomly pick two people as the winners, and this is who she chose. So number one, Chrissy Urbex fan. You'll see your comment right here. If that's you, make sure you comment down below so I'm able to contact you and I can message you, we can get your address, we can figure out what size you need for a sweater and then I can get it sent out to you. And the second winner, I apologize if I don't say your name right, uh, Tashia Juarez. So if that is you also, make sure you comment down below so I'm able to contact you and I can get your size, address, stuff like that. Congratulations to you two that won. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the sweaters when they get in. And to everybody else that participated, again, thank you so much for commenting and entering. And if you're actually interested in one of these sweaters, I'm also releasing today my merchandise of Forgotten Home Ontario. You can see it down below under the uh, description. And you can go over there, buy a sweater if you want to support the channel. I have sweaters, t-shirts, they come in a bunch of different sizes and a few different color variations. They're pretty cool. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check that down below. Uh, let me know if you grab one. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, we are going to be going into this amazing, historic, abandoned 1800s home. Place is crazy. Power still on everything like that. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. And thank you all again for all the support over the past years for my channel. All right guys, so we're starting in the main foyer of this home and you can see already that kids have tagged up this home, unfortunately. For whatever reason, they've left the power on in this house. Makes that a lot easier for us to explore. But you got beautiful hardwood flooring. Just everything about this house. The railings, the carpet on the stairs. It's all very uh, unique and classy. So right here is the front door, guys. A huge entrance. Absolutely grand. So looking at this straight on, we're going to be going right. Wow. Look at the big bay windows. You can see it's all boarded up. Obviously to try to protect the house a little bit. Doesn't seem like it worked too, too well though. You can see all the wall sconces. Still lit up. And all the spider webs up there. Might not be able to see it, but. These rooms are very high. They have very, very large ceilings in this house. I mean, it was a grand old farmhouse. It's not super surprising. 
So there's one fireplace here. This looks like the back patio door. Somebody just ripped it off of the hinges. It almost looks like they tried to salvage some stuff from here before they put it like this, but obviously hasn't helped much. Wow, look, there's another fireplace there. So both rooms in this area have fireplaces. All the windows here have been smashed out. It's a very odd home. Like you don't think they'd let something so historical go to waste like this. And guys, this home is quite historical, but a lot of the details that if I gave it, it would tell the location of the home and I don't need or want to see more people coming here and destroying this place. It's a unique one for sure. So unfortunately I have to withhold some of that historic information, but do trust me when I say it has quite an interesting history behind this home. Again, basically this whole house has wall sconces as their light fixtures. Nothing else really. So. This is probably where that patio door came from. Would have been a back entrance of the home. You can see somebody kick the door down. Brand new boards it looks like too. So entering this room, guys, first, they have like crystal door handles right here. On like that. So this would have been their kitchen. Very large, very grand kitchen, indeed. Looks like this would have been a fireplace at some point, but it got boarded off for whatever, or, uh, bricked off for whatever reason. But you can see kids just came through and smashed everything to pieces. Look at that light fixture too. That is quite interesting. There's a lot of staircases in this house. There's one to go upstairs right here. Behind that brick wall, there's another staircase that goes upstairs. Don't even know if this opens. This is a door that leads you back into that, to a different room. And there's a staircase here that leads you to the basement. Weird. What's weird too is that there's police tape all in this house in multiple different places. So I wonder if somebody came through while this was owned and they just destroyed a bunch of the stuff in here. So over here is the other staircase I was talking about. We're gonna go up the main one. And over here is just another entrance to the home. Interestingly enough, there is another section here that if you basically have to go through the drywall here to get to it. But it leads you to this washroom right here, which is weird. 
and to the only door that's not boarded up, and that's the door that's open. This here looks like it was a nanny suite, or a mother-in-law suite. It's got its own kitchenette. It's got its own fridge. It's got two entrances, one from the front, one from the back. A tiny room. And another staircase that goes, I believe, to the attic. Not tons to see in this area, but it's interesting nonetheless. And this is the staircase that goes up, which you can see goes to the attic, which I've checked, and there's just nothing up there. Okay, back through the hole. So we've covered all this area. If we continue back, how it's just slightly confusing. We're back at the main entrance. You see the staircase there. I wonder what this is for. Closed open check. It's got a chain. It has to do something. Nice washroom in here. Got the toilet right there. Sink. That doesn't work. Nice little behind the mirror storage too. I can't get over this main entrance. This is beautiful up in here. So there is one room that we didn't go into. This house is very symmetrical. It has nice bay windows on both sides of the main entrance. And again, it is fully lit up just by the wall sconces right there. There's nothing on the ceiling. Kind of interesting. You know, it's an old house too when you see um, vents that look like that. All right, so we're gonna head up these stairs. Like I said before, got nice carpet all on them, very uh, farmhouse-esque. It's a very, very nice home with very nice woodwork. As you can see though, kids have mutilated it. Just look at that though, guys. What a house. Wow. So we're gonna start in this first room over here. You can see the massive amount of graffiti that somebody painted here, which is unfortunate. Wallpaper is kind of interesting though with the border. Got the horses playing. Hmm. Gonna qu quickly check in this room. You guys got to remember, this is a historically designated house, and this is how they've let it go. So in this room, it goes over this way. Looks like a big closet area. And it's weird because this house breaks off really awkwardly, so this leads back to that staircase. But there's a washroom there, another room there, and then this room. So we'll start with this room. Looks like your standard bedroom. Got a tiny little closet right there. That's interesting border. It's cats. 
Wow. All the glass is shattered here. This is why it's so cold in the house. So this is one of those staircases, guys, that leads back down, I believe, to the kitchen. You can see how aggressive those are. I'd much rather just take the uh, <laughs> the main staircase. That's interesting. Brockville, Ontario Manufacturing by the James Smart MFG Co. Limited. That's the vent cover, I guess. Looks like this would have been their security system room for this house. Nothing's left behind from it though. This was probably originally a laundry room though based off the border that's in here. That's what it looks like. And in here, this would be the master bathroom, I guess. Got your jacuzzi tub right here. Huh. This is weird. Got double the power. You got the one up here and you got the one down here. I honestly don't know why this one's here. So if you know why, if there's a reason that there's two, let me know. It's almost like you'd fill water up for like a cup here. Question is, do these lights work? They do. That's cool. That mirror's quite interesting too. Got your shower right there. I like the ceilings in this room, the wood. Kind of reminds me of the log mansion. Again, glass or crystal door knobs. So continuing. This upstairs is just fantastic. So again, this is another staircase that leads down to the kitchen. There's a secret door here. Just a storage area, but that's interesting. Look at the, like this whole house, the wallpaper is just questionable. I mean, at least the colors match. And in the corner here, got a very battered up bathroom. There's a lot of glass everywhere. I'm surprised they didn't break the toilet. And you do have a very like makeshift looking uh, shower. Sorry, the glass I stepped on it scared the sh out of me. Stepped on that. Leaving this room, give you another look over here. Looks like somebody kicked in this door to get in. Pretty aggressively, I might add. It's like plaid in this room. 
That is quite unique. It's probably the nicest looking room of the bedrooms. Because it's not super aggressive on your uh, eyes, but... I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of wallpaper, but it kind of gives more character to the house. There's a navy poster on the back of this door. Your power to see. Interesting. So guys, that's the whole upstairs. Or is it? It's actually not the entire upstairs because there is an attic. There's a third floor over here. Let's go check it out. Kind of as I figured it was going to be. Doesn't that look creepy? Wow, what a spectacular third floor. <laughs> no, it could have been made into something cool like a loft, but it's obviously not that they wanted. It'd be great for storage though, I will admit that. All right guys, basement time. Jeez, these stairs are so awkward. Uh. <laughs> I, I knew you were here too, I just didn't know where. Wow, this is noisy down here. That's good. It's, oh cool, look at the brick arch. Look at that, guys. That's super cool. So my guess is that they have the power on, literally, just to be able to run the fans and stuff down here. That would make the most sense. This is very cool. I love that, the brick. It's exquisite, guys. It almost, this kind of reminds me of uh, the uh, women's prison in Kingston, the doors, like where they kept all the solitary confinement uh, prisoners. This is the same kind of feeling it had, which is weird. Like that's a grand place to put your furnace. Hm. Is this a different, what the hell? It goes outside, or it used to at least. You can see all the stone and brickwork. This place is nuts. I got a pump. Some pump, I guess, working right here. You can see, yes, it is working. Oh, that stone is very loose. I, I know, I stepped on it and moved. I thought I was going in the water. I know, so I stepped on it, I was like, oh. <laughs> if you guys are wondering what that was. Almost looks like they had a, uh... oh, is this a laundry chute? It's got a weight. Yeah, it's like a elevator. Because it's got a pulley system all here. Oh my. That's what it's for. So. You would unhook it from there. Yeah. And then you would let it slowly go up and then you'd pull it down. Oh, there's a weight on the other side. Oh, yeah. Wait, so if you. Yeah. If you put 
it's not working right, but if you pull, it goes up. That is cool. All right, guys, that's it. That's the entire home. I hope you enjoyed. This place was absolutely amazing. Again, thank you to everybody that entered the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. I really appreciate it. I'll be contacting the people that won as, uh, as soon as this video goes up. And yeah, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Thank you.